Hi guys, just wanted to make this short video today just to explain a couple of things that I've been getting a lot of questions about just recently and that is my hand speed and the control that I have in my hands. I posted a few uh, videos last week on Instagram and they were purely just my practice. A couple of a minutes worth of just me working on rudiment on a pad. And I got a lot of questions, I got a lot of emails from it. Uh, people shared them and things like that. And people don't seem to be able to understand that it is just hard work and it is practice that makes things possible. Any of the stuff that I can play, you know, I did one last week that kind of went nuts with the Swiss triplets. Um, and the speed of the Swiss triplets is just working slowly and then gradually speeding them up with the right techniques. Okay, so it's really important to use the right tool for the job, the right technique to enable you to achieve what you want to achieve. Now, last year, I wrote this book, which is the what and how of drumming, which is about hand technique. It's about how you think about the way you play. Okay, last year it was uh, just out on Amazon as an ebook, and now it's available in physical copy. Um, Everything that I do and everything that I work on, everything that I teach in my own private teachings with people from all over the UK, is based around the concepts and ideas in this book. Okay, so it covers things from like mobile technique to free stroke to control strokes to pull outs, stick heights, fulcrums, little things like that. How to get the best out of what you're trying to play. Okay, so if you if you took your car to a mechanic. And your mechanic, your mechanic came out to, to fix your car with a hammer, you'd drive away really quickly. Because he's only got one tool and he does every job with it. That's just not the case. The case is that he has drawers and drawers full of tools, different things in his garage to be able to fix your car. Why is it as a drummer we're any different? I see so many drummers that play everything the same way. And then wonder why they don't have the finesse when they get that call to do a jazz gig. Why they don't have the drive when they get a call to do that rock gig. These little things. Why they don't have the feel and the, and the articulation to play a funk gig. Everything you need to know is here. Everything that I've worked on, that, so you can see me playing, everything is here. It's a combination of like 30 years worth, 30 plus years worth of playing. Um, my studies... Um, my studies with some really great teachers in the UK and my studies, my long term studies with my great friend and mentor Don Famularo, which has led to this point of being able to do this. There's pictures of grips and then it tells you what each grip is, you know, you could use that for. There's examples of the molar technique, there's examples of free strokes, there's examples of how to get some speed in a parad in a paradiddle, yeah, by using the molar technique. There's all sorts of things in this book. And I really think that, you know, most of my students are, have placed orders for this now. I really think if you want to step forward and move your playing and get those hands that you really, really want, this is probably the answer for you. So I'll drop a link below in how to order it. And then, you know, I'll look forward to speaking to some of you soon. Cheers.